Alright, so this is Diesel We The People News. Alrighty. Uh, this video is with or without prejudice. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> without prejudice and or without recourse. I'm not an attorney. I'm not giving legal advice. Because I'm not an attorney, y'all. Alrighty. Um, I never look straight for it. I always look around me to be able to protect myself by any means necessary. Alright, so a couple of videos back. Uh, civil rights lawyer actually talked about this a little bit. Okay? And it's about uh, a judge kind of pointing a gun at one of the attorneys. But uh, apparently the set news that I accidentally came across. Alright? So, let's allegedly pointed a gun, by the way. Alright? I'm not giving legal advice. Allegedly. All right, but let's hear from the horse's mouth. My job and a weapon is, is brandished in my workplace as I'm trying to do my job, and it remained pointing at me as I had to argue the rest of the hearing. That lawyer from Pittsburgh Company is accusing a West Virginia judge of pulling a handgun from his robe and pointing it at her in court. Tonight, she wants that judge removed from the bench. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan joining us live now with these startling allegations. Andy. Christine, the lawyer has made more than one trip here to Pittsburgh FBI headquarters describing what she calls a terrifying ordeal of having a gun pointed at her in open court. It started off with a bang. And luckily, it did not end that way. Attorney Lauren Barnado has been defending the Pittsburgh-based EQT Corporation in the New Martinsville, West Virginia courtroom of Judge David W. Hummel, Jr. When she says the judge pulled out a Colt 45 pistol from a shoulder holster underneath his robe. He pulls out his gun, points it in a waving motion, like kind of scanning, you know, defendant's counsel places it on the bench, I'm standing, and then slowly turns it to make sure the barrels are still pointed at me. The bizarre act came in the middle of a contentious legal dispute over gas drilling and mineral rights. Cornado said there had been bad blood from the start, since she had questioned Hummel on whether he was not conflicted, since a relative had sued EQT on a similar claim. He dismissed the jury and yelled at me for 45 minutes including profanity um, and personal attacks. During the trial, Barnado, who said she had been threatened at a local restaurant, had been escorted in and out of the courtroom with security. One morning, Judge Hummel barred her security from the courtroom, saying, quote, I have bigger guns than they have. That's when she says he pulled out his own gun and left it on the bench, pointed at her. Were you threatened with your life with your safety if the gun was pointed at you in the moment in my head i was thinking surely he's not gonna do anything i mean surely it's not loaded i do know that it's not proper gun safety to hold a gun that way to point it at people to leave it laying around judge Cummel's office says the judge is prevented from making comment at this time but eqt issued a statement supporting <laughs> The funny part is about that, <clears throat> his attorney <laughs> saying not making any comments. I bet you 10 to 1. It's just my opinion, y'all. I don't know. Uh, but a judge's attorney is telling the judge not to make any comments, all right? Do not violate your Fifth Amendment. <laughs> Varnado and chastising the judge's alleged actions, quote, a courtroom is meant to be a place of honor, respect, and dignity. EQT is committed to prioritizing the safety of our employees and partners no matter where they work. We are thankful for the service of Ms. Varnado and her colleagues and relieved that they were not injured. The parties in the case have settled out of court, but in addition to speaking with the FBI, Varnado is cooperating with the West Virginia Judicial Investigation Commission which she says has an ongoing investigation of the judge on unrelated matters. And what do you think should happen with Judge Hummel? Unrelated matters, y'all. So think about that. He cannot stay on the bench. Um, also, 
outside of that, I don't know. And that's really my goal is to, is to get a change there. Well, the West Virginia Judicial Commission had no comment on this, and likewise, the FBI here in Pittsburgh says they will not confirm nor deny the existence of an investigation. Reporting live on the... Well, of course not, because that would be violating the Fifth Amendment. Right? Even though they always violate your Fifth Amendment by making you make a plea to go ahead and violate your Fifth Amendment by incriminating yourself. They're just not going to do it. Outside, Andy Sheehan, KDK News. See that I have two... Anyway, y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, strange enough that this popped up when I made a video a couple, couple days ago about... Uh, um, the civil rights uh, lawyer that talked about this exact same thing. And it was an accident. Alright. What do you guys think? <laughs> a lawyer tells a judge to shut his yap. And he's been uh, investigated over other manners. And he can't comment or confirm or deny because he's allowed to do the fifth when you are not allowed to do the fifth. All right, this will be the people news. Allegedly did this, by the way. Bye, y'all.